Right guys, today we're going to do a little bit of a follow along lesson. So if you face me, feet together and bow. So right, just stand in your ready position nice and strong to start with. So we're going to step out now with our left leg. We're going to put one arm out in a sitting stance punch. So we're going to do some sitting stance punches by my count. Ready, Hannah. Tss, do, tss, set, tss, na, tss, tassu, tss, yusa, tss, elga. Yo, tss, aha, tss, yo, tss, good. Right, this time now we're going to do two punches. So we're going to go punch, punch when I say one. So when I say one, two punches, nice and fast. Ready? One, tss, tss, two, tss, tss, three, tss, tss, four, tss, tss, five, tss, tss, six, tss, tss, seven, tss, tss, eight, tss, tss, nine, tss, tss, ten. Good. Come back to your ready position. Now, I'm going up and down on the punches when I do them. Can anybody tell me why I do that? So, I'll give you a couple of seconds to shout at the screen. Good. So, the answer would be I'm trying to get power in my technique. So, every time I lift, I drop and drop my weight into the punch, making it even stronger. So, let's go from our sitting stance punches into our walking stance punches. So, in our ready position, when I say one now, we're going to step forward and we're going to punch in a walking stance. So, nice and strong. When I say one, we're going to step forward. Ready? One. Now make sure you've got a nice strong walking stance. So this is an obverse punch because the same arm and same leg are in front. Now it's a walking stance because my feet are nice and long and I've got shoulder width between my feet. So when I say two now, step forward and punch. Two. Step forward and punch. Three. Good. Now we're going to step back and punch. Ready? One. Two, three, good. Going forward again, a little bit stronger this time. Ready, one, two, three. Stepping back, ready, one, two, three. Good, last time now, going forward, one, two, three. Stepping back, one, two, three. Good, come back to your ready position. Right, this time now take your right leg back and we're going to put our guards up nice and strong. So we're going to warm our legs up a little bit. When I say one now, we're just going to do a knee and come back to your guard. So ready? One, good. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. Good. Change your steps or change your feet. Put your other foot behind. Right, same thing now. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Good, change those legs again, put the other leg behind. This time now we're going to do a front leg raise. So, going to pop one hand out as a little bit of a target, swing your leg up and come back to your guard. So each time now you're going to try and go higher as I can. So I see one now, just swing the leg up, touch and come back. If you don't want to put your hand out, you don't have to. But sometimes it's nice to have a little target there to aim for. Ready? Guard up, ready? One. Good. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Change those legs again. Put the other leg behind. Same thing. When I say one, swing up and back. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Good, change those legs. Come back to ready position. Good, so we're just going to quick drink now. So face me, feet together, and bow. Good, so hopefully you had a quick drink time. Obviously, we're going to go into some more techniques. So take your right leg back, guard up. This time now, we're going to practice our front snap kick. So I say one kick and back. Which part of the foot we're going to use? I want you to shout it out. 
So the answer was a ball of the foot. What direction does that kick go? I want you to shout it out. The answer is straight. And what is it called? And why is it called a front snap kick? Shout it out. The answer is because it snaps out. It's nice and fast. So guard up for me when I say one now. Kick and back. Ready? One. Good. Two. Three. Four. Five. Now on six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, if you want to do a jump or a double or a triple, you can. So if you want to make it more advanced, it's up to you. I will stick to doing the single ones for anybody following along who may be a little bit more of a white belt or a little bit less experienced. But if you're more experienced, make it a little bit trickier for yourself. Ready? Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Good, change those legs for the other leg behind. Same thing as the first five just singles. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Now six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. You can make it more advanced. Ready? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good, come back to that ready position. So this time now we're going to step forward, going to practice some blocks. Now if you watch the crossing video, it'll explain how to do your crosses. So if you're not sure, go back and revise that video. If you're obviously a white belt or you're a little bit less experienced, don't worry too much about the crossing. Go back, watch the video, give you a little bit of information. But the main thing is that we're blocking and we're stopping something. So we're going to step forward with this leg now. We're going to see one. We're just going to block and bring the hand back to the hip. So you draw it out of forearm block middle. So I'm stopping something coming in. We step forward and block two. Good. And block three. Stepping back. One. Two. Three. Stepping forward. One. Two. Three. Stepping back. One. Two. Three. Stepping forward. One more time. One. Two, three, good, and come back. Right, now, tell me which part of the arm I am blocking with. So, shout it out. Good, the answer is the forearm. And if you want to be precise, it's that top bit of your forearm by here, just under your wrist. Now, also when I'm doing this block, my body is half facing. So I'm turning slightly now, my hips are turned. My stance doesn't change, and this is to make me further away from the bully or further away from the person attacking me. If I'm full facing, it brings my block closer. If I'm half facing, it takes my body away, and it also makes me a smaller target. So this time now, we're going to step forward, we're going to do our low blocks. So ready, same thing, this leg first. Ready, one, two, three, stand back. One, two, three, stand forward. One. Two, three, stepping back. One, two, three, stepping forward. One, two, three, last time back. One, two, three, good. Come back to ready position. Last block we're going to do is our rising block. Now, all these blocks, if you want to go back and redo them a couple of times, you can change the block you're doing. You could change it to some things that are in your patterns, but we're keeping it basic. So this is for all levels. Right, chin B, rising block this time. Now rising block, you're full facing, and that's because you're circling up and stopping something coming down. If you're half facing, there's more chance of it hitting you. So you're full facing, just drive all that power up to stop something hitting you. Right, ready? One, two, three. Stepping back. One, two, three. Step forward. One, two, three. Stepping back. One, two, three. Forward. One, two, three. Back. One, two, three. Good. Come back to your ready position. So. What we're going to do now, we're going to take our right leg back, guard up, nice and strong. So you're here like this, so your right leg behind, your guard is up. 
Now we're going to practice some combos. So we're going to do a couple by my count and then I'm going to let you make up your own. So, ready? Guard up nice and strong. When I say one now, we're just going to go jab cross. So we do five of them. So you're going to go one, two, come back. Ready? One, and back. Two, three, four, five. This time now we're going to go jab, cross, hook, like this. So we're going to one, two, three. Make sure you turn in your hips. Ready? One. Good. Two. Good. Three. Good. Four. Five. This time now we're going to go jab, cross, hook, uppercut. Ready? One. Good. Two. Three. Four. Five. Good. So the next combination we're going to do now, we're going to go jab, cross, knee, and come back to our guard. We're going to do five of them. Ready? One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Good. Now we're going to start imagining something's coming back to hit us. So we're going to go one, two. We're going to duck. Then we're going to do a cross. Ready? One. If you want to do a bob and weave or a roll, you can as well. Ready? Two. Three. Four. Five. This time now, what we're going to do, we're going to add a kick in. Now it's up to you, we're going to do a lead leg kick. You can do a side kick, you can do a round nose kick, a turning kick, a front kick. It is up to you, but it has to be off that front leg. It can be a hook kick, it can be an axe kick. I'm going to keep it simple, I'm just doing a front kick. You go two punches, then we're going to cover, come back with two punches now. So the idea is you're kicking a bully away, doing two punches, then they might throw something at you, you're covering. And then you're coming back with a punch. Now when you cover, you put your hands over your head now, so it's like a shell, so it's protecting you to stop anything coming in. So we our blocks are really strong and our guard's strong, we're just grabbing our head to protect us. Right, ready? Once, go kick, punch, punch, cover, punch. Ready, two, kick, punch, punch, cover, punch. Three, kick, punch, punch, cover, punch. Four, Kick, punch, punch, cover, punch. Last one now, five. Kick, punch, punch, cover, punch. Good. So the challenge now is going to be you're going to get somebody to time you or time yourself three 30 second rounds. You can make it more, you've got to a minute, and you're going to shadow box. So that means pretending there's somebody in front of you, practicing your techniques, and making sure now that you're pretending to spar them or stop them, you practice your blocks, coming back in with something, you practice your movement. Now there is a video on shadow boxing you can watch if you want some ideas. But the basic idea is if the timer starts I might be practicing punches, I might cover, punch, punch, I might kick, two punches, knee, moving around a little bit, one, two, hook, knee. I could practice some other techniques, I practice a side kick, two punches, Knee, I could be here like this, I could punch, punch, kick, come back in with different techniques, it's up to you. So you're going to do round one, 30 seconds, have a little rest, round two, 30 seconds, have a rest, round three, 30 seconds, have a rest. Now if you want to tag us or video some of your rounds, make sure you tag it to the Pupich Martial Arts Facebook or Ask Taekwondo. Um, hopefully now this video has given you something to train with, I'm going to keep posting more up, so little lessons as we go along. So if you face me, feet together and bear.